Hello, my geeky guys, guys. Welcome back to Body of Shock. I'm your host, Masky. Am I crouching? No, I'm not crouching. It feels like I was crouching. Hello? Am I near the end already? I don't feel like it. No, I've got to get to him, have we? Even in the book of lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this, you are my greatest disappointment. Aww. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me. But you will never have my city! You may take my lives, but you'll never take my freedom! <coughs> uh, we need to get in there, obviously it ain't gonna work, cause he's gonna fucking destroy everything. So we gotta go ourselves another way around. Um, yeah, not that one. I did the wrong one. Don't follow my advice. Never follow my advice, you always get wrong, you always go the wrong way. Fact, I don't even know why this video's being watched. I'm a strange one. I'm not right. Not right in the head. I'm never been all. I'm never been all right though. I'm never been all right. Cause I'm half left. You know, left and right. Just saying. That's all. Right in your mucker. I'm gonna come. I got a wrench for you. I'm gonna get down safely. Yep. There we go. That'll do. Here we go, this is the big revelation. Look at the wording on that. I ain't gonna cut this part out because if you've played this before, you obviously know what's gonna come up. If you haven't played it before, you want to play it, look away now, kiddies, or just quit and go watch some other uh, videos. I mean, click the eye icon that's above my webcam right now. I'm gonna put a different video in there just to other kind of random shits and giggles, it's gonna be fun. But if you don't if you haven't played it and you still wanna know what's gonna happen up ahead, even though you don't have any intention to play it yourself, you just wanna watch it. Watch on kiddies, this one's gonna be a kicker. Wait, is that a way through? No, no, no. There's a Tedder's bear in there. Don't know what he's doing there. An intensive care bear. Hi. Has oh, hi. My final defense. And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave mm -hmm. obeys. Yeah. You think you have memories? A farm. A family, an airplane, a crash, and then this place. Was there really a family? You know, it's all the HUD icons have gone. Crash, or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Oh, yeah. Was a man sent to kill or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. See, you'd think at this moment in time, you've never played it, played it before, that... You'd still think you're in control because I bring my keyboard up because this one not work with Xbox 360 control. I can press the keys like that. I can move around. You still think you're in control, but this is the kicker. This was a good revelation. I mean, it's not as good as the revelation that I found out in Star Wars: Night of the Old Republic, and I'm definitely not going to spoil that one. But this one was still a bit of a ball kicker. Stop. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Would you kindly phrase. remember about right the very start in episode Familiar one? Phrase. Would you kindly pick would you up kindly? that bench? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? That's awesome. Sit. Would you kindly stand? 
Would you kindly... Run! Stop! Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Played by Armin Zimmerman, the same voice actor that did Quark in Star Trek no. Deep Space Nine. This is brutal. Armin chooses! Did. Hurry now! Grab Ryan's genetic key! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? Would you kindly? Yeah. Oh boy, that was a big revelation at this time. That's then not as big as it was for Star Wars and the, uh, the uh, Knights Republic. Fucking awesome. And I'm going to watch this this one because this is going to reveal a lot of secrets. Alright. <clears throat> Not as revealing as I thought it'd be. It's more about storytelling and backstory to certain characters as well. I thought it was going to be more focused about this scene just now that's just played out, but no, it's not. But it, it's still something worthwhile. You've got to play the game yourself and really experience it because it is freaking awesome. So now, would you kindly slot that thing in there? But we ain't done yet. There's a stuff and another asshole in this game we gotta kill. And it's gonna happen now. I never trust him. Well, oh, I knew what was gonna happen. Watch it change. Dink! There we go. I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, the fact that you have genetically conditioned a bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly might have had something yeah. over that, but still, as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just finished off, Here's the asshole now that we gotta kill. Actual end game. Oh. Ow, oh, shit! Shit, I forgot about these. Uh, wait. Oh no, it's not shift, is it? No. Alright, gotta go. Use this gas to go. Do I actually, Can I actually destroy those things? I don't know. Oh, that's why we couldn't go in there. Because it was the way out. Thanks! There's a little bit more backstory to these uh, uh, little sisters as well in uh, Bioshock 2. Really, really cool. And we get to see Tenenbaum again. This time in back to when Rapture was first a really good thriving city. So Bioshock 2, I think, really... Not completely completes the story, but it does fill in a lot of the missing pieces that this either intentionally misses out or 
just by way of um, neglect or just f pure forgetfulness, the developers didn't put them in in this one round. So, pretty cool. Here we go, Tenenbaum Safe House. I do remember when I first played Bioshock 1 and when you realised that you could have two different endings based upon whether you kill these little sisters or not. And I can't remember what Tenenbaum... Would... He's I can't... the one who saved me. Yeah. Okay, can I talk now? Thank you. So yeah, I can't remember what Tenenbaum would say if you'd actually kill the little sisters and harvested them for their Adam. I'm also not entirely sure if the number of little sisters that you save here, that's inside this room now, are actually based upon the number of sis little sisters they actually save. Come with me. Aye, coming. But yeah, we're nowhere near from finishing the game as of yet, because there's still another good little kind of surprise to do in here. Uh, that's definitely going to be the. Uh, yeah. It's going to be. Uh, I can't speak, ums. Because of everyone else talking. Yeah, it's a kind of secret E type of thing where what happens in Bioshock 2 kind of happens here in Bioshock 1, but not properly. We'll see. But it's not going to happen in this video, it'll happen in uh, a future video. And then again. Oh. Yeah. She's a regular mother goose. All right, fun's fun, kid. But now, go get stepped on by a big daddy. Would you kindly? Yeah, that ain't gonna work no more, boy. Huh? I says, would you kindly go get stepped on by a big daddy? Frank Fontaine, fuck you, boy. Kind of remember this part. Uh, we got ourselves a big D on hand. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Go on, take him on. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, oh, get through, get through, get through, get through. Are you going to see me here? Uh, yeah, probably because I'm not croaking. Shame on you! Why is it exploded? How did it explode? That's new. It's strange, it's weird how the big daddy kind of knows where I am, but it can't attack because I'm in cloaks. Strange. And as soon as I move, it knows. Oh, the toast taking it on. Well, the toast died now. Come on! Come into my parlor! Shit, I'm a gonna die. Well, you don't matter about dying. The VI chambers will take care of that. Right, rescue you! No, no, no! Cheer that! Two sound files playing at the same time. She was screaming out, What's wrong, Mr. B? And at the same time, she's going, No, no, with me. Thank you for the free bullets. Always happy to do business with you, fella. Another one? He's destroyed the camera! Oh, that's it now. Bitch is gonna die. Where is you? There you is. Die, you ass. Fucking destroy my cameras, will ya? Dick. Ah, oh, yeah, because yeah, that was tied to the camera, so that exploded. Ooh, someone sounds angry. You've been attacked? Um, not quite. Uh, 
It's alright, don't worry. I need to back off. I was going after the splicer first. Uh, splicer's dead. Never mind. Okay. Moving swiftly on. And this is a big ass level. There's a lot of fighting to do here as well. So, unlike what I did in the core, I'm not going to do the entire thing here. But I do need to take out Mr. Big D. We all know the reason why. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Die! Eat, 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 ouchie! So, uh, ow! Let him kill me! That's fine! Alright, let's get out the Pruxel mine. Put one right there. Another one there. I know I can't pick them back up afterwards. It's a boomer. And then... He's still... Oh, there he is now. Ooh. Oh, a steaming. Here's a steamer. Right, let's take out. F Ow! Fraggle's grenade. All the way from good old Fraggle Rock. If I entice him out here, why did you die? Entice him out here, because then I got the VI chamber right here. So, should I kill him? I ain't gonna be too far away to go back to him. But he ain't following me. Oh well. Ow! Shiters. He's dead. He's nearly dead. Oh, let's finish him off with the AP rounds. Ah, oh, no, not that. Damn it. And he's down. Alright, rescue you. And that'll be the two big D's in this level with the little sisters, so we're going to be cool from them. We can ignore the big D's from here on in. Although we can always uh, hypnotize them, Thank get them on you. our side for a little bit. Yeah, Thank you. Get to safety. Alright, we got to get lot 192 to be able to get rid of the mind control and stop them from killing me. All it does is it just reduces maximum health. Just like that. Oh, shit. Holy crap, where did that come from? I don't recall a freaking turret coming. Oh, is that gate? It's gunning for me. I'm gonna have to hack it. And. Ow! Okay, never mind. It's good enough for me. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. Let's get this thing hackity dee. <laughs> Look at that rocket. That was weird. Jeez, stop! She's dead already! <laughs> oh, weird! Why is it circling around like a little fucking angry bee? Alright, we need to get up to the second floor once we've done that. There is another camera up here, I still have these ways, just gonna fucking bitch slap me all the way back down. Once we do that, I think then that's where I'm gonna end it. Here is it up. That's always good. Come on, heavy up, big D. I need to get up there. You know, I might just have to do it. And just run the risk. So I really want to hack the camera. Really want to hack the camera. I can do that. I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Learn something new every single time. Nearly every single time. If my brains would work, which they hardly ever do, then I'd learn. But they never communicate, so I don't. But that was cool. I never knew that you could do that before. I mean, it stands to reason. You'd be able to hack, well, um, electrocute everything else. Stun it a little bit. Why not a camera? Then you got yourselves a free cam. Cool. Right, so you're going to be mine. And I am going to save it here. Okay, my geeky guys and girls. So... In the next video, we're going to pick up Lot 192, get Frank Fontaine out of our head. Got all the little sisters saved. We're kind of good on this level. It's still dip, um, tough, but nowhere near as difficult and tough as what the core was. That was just nuts. But anyway, I think we've only got a few more levels left before the end of this game. Let me know if you want to do, if you want to see me do Bioshock 2 in a future series as well. I'm not going to do it straight away, because there's other games that I want to play as well. 
But if you want to see me play uh, Bioshock 2, just hit me up in the comments below or hit me up in your Twitch for your geek speak and all that good stuff, and I'll do it at a future time. But anyway, as for this video, it's all done. We're all over. We're all out of time. So thank you so much for watching it. And do all that good, t good YouTube stuff. Like if you like it. Dislike if you don't. And comment and subscribe and whatever else. And make sure you hit the little bell icon next to subscribe to be part of the notification squad. And I'll see you in that next video. So bye bye for now. Dominator. I think I make a, a good Big Daddy impression. Mm. No, that sounds like a dying donkey. <laughs>